What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with our recap on the Nexonite Wave 1 Battle Suits. Overall, the battle suits as a whole are just relatively pretty good sets now. They really do offer kind of the same build, and I would say most of them would be clone builds. However, Axel definitely does stand out the most from these, and Lance is also a good contender with that too because of his uh, roller skate like um, feet. But with that said, there is still something special with all of the builds. They're not all exactly the same, which is nice. And one of the things that could be said is um, they do a good job with the weapons. The, the, the difference between them, yet the similarities, are there. You can clearly see they've, they've got the same style with the same kind of like colors, but they also do show off some of their own colors, which is very nice. I do appreciate that. And one other thing to say with the battle suits, as a whole, the whole lineup just matches up very well. They've all got some, you know, similarities, but there's still enough differences, so they don't really seem too, like, clonish, but they still feel like they're a team. Now, let's get into some of the details and which ones are our favorites. Now, we have a few different categories. Just overall, we thought that Eren was the best battle suit, and this is for a variety of reasons. However, I don't really want to go into details because, first of all, they could be controversial. Some people may like not like them. Second of all, some of those details have already been mentioned in our reviews. So if you want to go and see what those details are, just go watch the Eren review. It is up. The links will be in the description. However, Aaron still has some issues. For example, we had another um, quality, which would be display. And for display, we said that Axel was the best. And this is simply just due to the fact that, well, his build. There really isn't too much to say there. It's, uh, again, some people may not like it. Um, it could be controversial. Some people may say that clay looks the best. However, this is our opinion, just keep that in mind. And then another thing would just be her playability. Because, you know, playability, that's the, that's the big thing. And again, that went to Aaron. However, I will say Lance was a good contender for that spot. Now, overall, the battle suits as a whole are not bad sets at all. In fact, I like all of these sets. Together as just a whole wave, they are very cool to have. Not only that, but you do get like 15 Nexo powers, so that's always cool. And um, the one issue I'm going to say with this as a whole is if you get all of the battle suits, you're not going to have any villains really. You get the battle suit and the Nexo powers. And that's really it. So the only issue overall is there isn't anyone you can really contend with. And you know, $50, you could probably instead just buy like one battle suit and buy a, uh, a like vehicle, like uh, the three brothers or Runa's uh, lock and roller, those are two sets that, you know, they're villain sets um, and they're combined with uh, just one or two battle suits, you know, it'd be less or $50 depending on which set you buy. But other than that, there really is no issues with the battle suits. Overall, they are good now, of course each set has their individual you know, problems. And those are mentioned in our reviews, which again, if there's any character you want to see um, in just more detail that you're not going to be finding in this recap, just go watch our reviews. I promise you we will have the information there. But that's pretty much it for this recap. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.